We begin tonight with Jason Miller, Trump campaign senior communications advisor. Great to see you, Jason. Thanks for being here. Good evening. Thanks for having Let's me. Just start with that. She she really listen. The polls say that she won that first debate, but you tell me whether she would do better to be a little less glib and a, a little more likable on the subject. I mean, self-deprecating is not really Trump's thing either. But you tell me whether she's going to win over voters on the fence by the "it went pretty well" thing. <laughs> well, I think the uh, "why am I not 50 points a headline" really gives you a, uh, some insight into Secretary Clinton's thinking and just her attitude towards uh, voters. And I think, especially with the town hall format that we're going to see on Sunday night, mm -hmm. this is really an opportunity for Mr. Trump to do well. I think this is a format that allows him to connect with people. And I don't know if Secretary Clinton can memorize enough lines to, to do well on Sunday. Well, what we'll about see. we saw Trump in the primary season in an Anderson Cooper town hall, and he kind of got in somebody's face. I mean, the guy asked him a tough question about why he said George W. Bush knew about 9-11 before it happened or intentionally got it, lied to get us into Iraq, one of those two dicey things. And Trump was like, look, it's fine. I'm not getting your vote. I mean, has he been told it's, it's not good to yell at the voters, be nice to the people asking the question, even if they're snarky questions? But people love him in these town halls. Uh, he tells it like he sees it. He calls it like it is. Uh, it's not, like I said, not a bunch of pre-programmed lines or things he's been memorizing. Uh, but I think, he'll, I think he'll do well on Sunday. I think uh, we're actually going to be doing a town hall tomorrow night in New Hampshire, mm -hmm. uh, 7 o'clock. Um, so that'll be... Uh, it's like one, a little practice. No, it'll be, uh, Mr. Trump does a whole lot of uh, town halls and meets with and talks with voters all the time. But it'll be one that we do in advance, and he'll be doing debate prep tomorrow and Friday uh, and getting ready. Are we going to see a different Trump at this debate? than we saw at the last one because you know some of the criticisms of him were punch back right don't don't, don't defend everything she lobs your way don't be on defense but punch back punch at her and punch relentlessly actually as the night goes on well, so our goal going into the very first debate was to make sure that it was clear who is the insider, who is the outsider, who is the one who's going to fight to change the economy, who is the one who's going to fight to make our country more safe and secure. So we felt from our end that we were able to go and accomplish that. I think this time we're going to start getting a little bit more into some specifics. I think you're going to see really the consumer benefit of what a Trump presidency will do for the American people. And I think that's where things are going to start to separate because that's where Secretary Clinton has a tough time really connecting with people. Does he get that she laid a trap for him with that Alicia Machado thing that he walked right into and then he stayed in the, the trap for five days? Well, uh, look, Mr. Trump is going to defend himself. And I think it's only right that if someone's lobbing a political, political attack at him, that he can go and defend himself. Why? But, what, but, but it didn't help him. It didn't help. His, his ardent supporters, some of them, were so disappointed that he stayed in that ugly place for five days when he had so much momentum behind him. They don't want to see him do that again. But what they absolutely loved is that he did well through that entire debate and that he stood up and he fought for himself and he didn't back down. Right, but we're, but we're talking about, you know, how they say in, like, drug addiction, the first step is admitting you have a problem, right? The first step is admitting that that was a mistake. Don't, don't, don't walk into the trap. Don't stay in the trap. Don't enjoy the trap. Don't extend the trap by five days. Uh, so... I disagree with you. I saw the debate a bit differently. I thought Mr. Trump did fantastic. And there's a reason why we're seeing these crowds and we're seeing this energy and seeing this excitement. Mm -hmm. But let's look ahead to Sunday and what we think is going to come up. Yep. And that's the one where uh, I've reviewed a lot of game tape of Secretary Clinton. Yep. She's always good on the first answer. She can come through and she'll have memorized well, probably, I'd assume, a couple hundred lines. She'll have those down. But as you start getting to those second questions, those third questions, that's where she gets tripped up. And that's where she has a tough time relating with people. She can't really connect. And I think that's because I think the Clintons are so separated from regular people and they, they can't quite connect. I mean, how do you go from not being able to pay either of your mortgages when you leave the White House to being worth a couple hundred million dollars um, uh, without ever doing so much as billing an hour of legal work or producing anything or winning Powerball or anything else? And so uh, there's just they live in an alternate reality, and I don't think they get what it means to be in America. They gave a lot of speeches. A lot of speeches that paid very, very well. Would, would you pay him $500,000 for a speech? Uh, but I do not give that kind of money away, and I think Bill Clinton's lived a very different <laughs> life, very different life but, than I have. But one other yeah. thing, though, I think it's important about Sunday, it, just one of the things we're seeing with the, the election overall, yep. is where the energy and the enthusiasm is, is in this race, mm -hmm. and it's clearly with Mr. Trump right now. I mean, we're seeing with Secretary Clinton that there's just, you know, she's small crowds, maybe a thousand, you know, if she's lucky at some of these. That's all true, but it, the crowd size does not determine what happens on election day. We saw that the last time around with Mitt but Romney. Voter intensity. Voter intensity is there for Mr. Trump. That's why we're seeing it in the polls. Um, we feel pretty good about where we're at. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Megan. Nice to see Appreciate you. it.